Welcome everyone to more AP games. We're playing Skyrim Remastered here with our modded Dwemer Battlesmith Let's Play. If it's your first time here on the channel, so glad that you joined us. We're going to continue on through Nachardak, one of the final Dwemer ruins that we're exploring here with our Dwemer Battlesmith. If you're a returner, I can't thank you enough for your continued support. So, with that, let's go ahead and get into it. Of course, we're in a dungeon, so we got to get our battle sparks on. All right. So we need to... What are we doing now? I think we should focus on how to get up to the door on the north side of the workshop. Okay. We still have cubes to find. We certainly do. Yeah, I figured you were going to come at me. Alright, well, uh... It's going to be a lot of... This, <laughs> this dude's doing a wall sit. How long are you going to keep that wall sit up for, buddy? Huh? <laughs> He's going to have some burning thighs after a couple thousand years. Alright, um... Oh, that's funny. Man, wall sits. Uh, my, in my, my twice a week workout uh, group that I do, I... Wall sits are probably one of my least favorite things to do. Alright. Can I just... No, you're you're not alive. Okay. What about you? Okay, you're not alive either. Alright. Good stuff. Okay, so we need to find a way to activate the stuff on the north side. Okay. So I have a feeling that we need to do something like this. And then hop on down and do that which should raise up a bunch of steps cool all right look at me smarty pants all right of course we need to explore all sides so we'll take that armor we'll uh, leave the cogs uh, da, 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 da. Okay, and what do we got through here? Just a chest. It's okay. Use our skeleton key to break in. Bada bing, bada boom. And more than six gold. Nice. Okay, we're actually pretty high on our carry weight, but we haven't put anything on Lydia. And I've mostly been taking a bunch of armor. That was the wrong hmm. button. Nothing down here. Take the plate metal. Come in handy. And the... No, no, no. I want bent scrap metal. And gauntlets. Gyro. What do we got in here? Gold! Alright, everything else. Leave that and another cube. I now have dos cubos. Unfortunately, is someone there? Okay, oil, take it off. Okay. Wow, that guy's like. Okay. He's pretty. He's a pretty good wizard, I guess. Got his, got his lightning magic. Got a little lightning magic as well. Bye -bye. All right. So, oh. Okay, I see. Raise the water level, which I'm kind of okay with. Um, I want to come back and grab this one, right? I think. It doesn't matter if the water level's up this high. Let's see where this leads. Right? I don't think this matters. Or maybe it does. No, actually, I think we want the water to be up so that we can get up this. Yeah. Look at me. Accidentally solving puzzles. Left, right, and center. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, I totally missed that ballista. <laughs> What in the world is going on? There we go. That's what was what I wanted. All 
All right, this guy looks a little dangerous. Let's go ahead and just take him out. <laughs> oh, oh man, look at him. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> He's like falling. <laughs> He's perfectly balanced. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Okay, he was like it was like he was playing Twister. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, I loved it. Oh man. Oh, Dwarven Centurion Guardian. Oh, you're my favorite. Oh man. Hello, Dwarven Greatsword. Nice. We can sell that for a little bit of moolah. Let's uh let's come up here real quick. Wow, my uh blast really shot this guy back. Um, <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, oh. Wow. Victorious again. All right, let's uh, grab his loot as well. See, you had a gyro and that's it? Okay, whatever. Oh, I wanna grab, oop. I wanna make sure to grab this guy first. All right, there we go. And the water should rise up, right? Very good. By my count, we've found a total of four cubes. Assuming you haven't dropped it. Assuming. Troll switch to drop down the, uh... Yeah, and this is the bridge that I saw early on. Nice. Good little level design there to, uh... Make so I don't have to run around. Tons of places. Alright. Lydia! Oh, Lydia! There she is. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna drop off a bunch of my, uh... Loot on her. I'm right behind you. I am at your command. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. All right, let's give you the Battle Axe of Freezing, Warhammer, Ebony Greatsword, Hollow Greatsword, Orcish Mace. Um, here, take a Woodcutter's Axe. <laughs> uh, what else can you handle? That's about it, huh? All right, well, there we go. You lead, I'll follow. Back to the Great Chamber. And we should have all the cubes we need, right? Uno? Don't? Water should go down. Let's do a quick save while I'm at it. I want to make sure to keep my progress. Ah, okay. I see. to all right so I want to yes yeah, so we've lowered okay so we've lowered the water even more now we can come over this way ah oh, there's there's stuff over there too though all right let's uh let's do this take out these bad boys boom easy peasy Grab their loot. Good stuff. And yes, yes, yes. Okay, take it all. Cool beans. All right. Activate this control switch. To the aqueduct. Kind of strange to have an aqueduct in the city that's literally underwater, but okay. Last cube is somewhere in here. I hope it won't require more swimming around in this filth. Require? Oh man, this guy's accent is just so good. I'd guess that must be the pump activator up there. Up there. But how to reach it? We'll need to get all three of these bridges down. Yeah, the voice acting for this guy is superb. He just sounds supremely 
to reach the pump control. Supremely like high high uh sorry, not Keimer. Dunmer. Oh it's a little puzzle scheme, okay. Um, okay. And we should be able to do the middle one. And we should be good. That's it. Don't touch anything else. Quickly now. Alright. I'm doing it quickly. Oh boy. What? Spiders. Spiders everywhere. I'm, I'm going to ignore them. And go for whatever it is that we're going for. In case there's something is timed. Okay, that looks... I'm not sure what happened there. But I activated the control something something. Alright. Alright, boys. Time to meet your maker. Literally, I am a Dwemer. My people made you. Wait, wait, wait. No. Dang it. That was a swing and a big miss. Nice job on all these, uh, you know, these little folks. You guys have uh, fought admirably without me. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll be right there. I'm just, uh, I'm just looting real quick. It'll be okay. Just want to make sure to get all the scrap metal I could. Who are we fighting? I'm not fighting anyone. Okay, I was going to say. No one to fight. Alright, um... Yes, yes. Okay, excellent. Good stuff. Alright, so where am I going now? I have an idea. I'll wait here and retrieve this cube once you find the last one we need. Good luck. Good luck. Alright, so he's gonna stay here. Oh, I bet this is my exit. I bet that's where I come out. Alright, another quick save. And let's keep going. So, the aqueduct. I guess this kind of makes sense. How oh, this is an aqueduct. Alright. Hop down. Anything over here? Oh yeah, there's a chest. No? Okay. Alright, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Lydia. It's just a little drop. It's not that far. Okay. It's good. Alright. Let's check underneath the waterfall. Nothing? Alright. All right. Then open up the door. And through we go. Ooh. All right, traps galore here. I mean, wow, that was so hard, guys. Um, Take the dagger. Oh, well, that. Woo! Dodging them. Alright. There's another one. That should be it, right? Oh, wow. That's, uh. Okay, that's a good trap right there. Do you have the kill? Take this cube and we can be on our way. Watch out. The water's rising even higher with both pumps shut down. Yep. Time to get out. Time to get out of Dodge. Alright. We're here. You're here. Where's Lydia? Lydia? Lydia. Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? I've left her carrying all sorts of weight. Oh, Lydia, don't scare me like that. I give you all the heavy armor and stuff, and somehow you're able to swim with like 400 pounds of metal on you. 
Oh, jeez. Lydia, you never cease to amaze. And worry. At the same time. Be very anxious. Okay, so we can add cubes down here. You'll need the cube I picked up to start all the boilers. Okay, I want to see what's down here. Figured. Get him, Lydia. Get him. Nice little backstab. There we go. What does this pedestal do? Okay, I hear a bunch of water. Oh, wow, the water went even further down. Oh, that's so cool. This is like a is this like a totally optional part of the dungeon? Is if it if it is, that's freaking sweet. Oh man. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so good. I mean, an orcish battle axe is amazing. Oh, this is so neat. There's like a whole hidden area down here that if you don't go over here, you'd never get it. I love it. Excellent. Very cool. Man. So I said this before. This is one of the few Dwarmer Ruins that I've actually never been in before in my entire Skyrim career. So this is really... I'm really enjoying this. I'm... Like, I really enjoy exploration in Skyrim. I know it might not seem like it from what I do and necessarily in the videos. Exploration doesn't always make for the best uh, YouTube content. Uh, at least not that. I don't know. That's just my feeling, opinions on it. Anyways, um, but I love it. I, and this is this is just fulfilling the exploration geek in me, of uh, just discovering something new. New to me, that is. Obviously, Skyrim's been out for years, and I could have explored this a long time ago, but I just kind of, I don't really do a whole lot on Solstein. I should probably do more on Solstein, now that I think about it. Maybe I'll do a Dark Elf character at some point, where we start on, where we like start on Solstein. That'd be kind of interesting. Do the Solstein stuff first, and then go to Skyrim. Alright, well let's uh, explore a little bit more down here, real quick. Yeah, I figured there'd be some more. Okay, eight gold, not the best, but we'll take it. I will take every scrap of moolah I can get. All right, some more malachite. Pretty neat, pretty cool. <coughs> some gems along with it. All right, and then the broken pipe that's supplying all the water everywhere. Dwarven battle axe. Down here in the deeps. All right, anything else hidden? Not looking like it. Don't see anything else. No, okay. You can hear Lydia stomping around in the water though, splashing like a little kid in a puddle. All right. Up we go. Let's take this cube back. And... Alright, I left the cog. That's fine. Alright. Take the cube. And I need... One from you. Here. I picked up this cube for you. Thank you. That's so kind. Um, while we're at it, let's talk. Uh, where do the black books come from? Hermaeus Mora has always tried to seduce mortals oh. into his service with where the black oh. books actually came from. No one really knows. Some appear to have been written Get from Get rid of the character past. for, uh, Others so that you can see the text. Others might be from the future. Apparently, time is more malleable if you're the daydrink prince of fate and destiny. That's fair. That kind of makes sense. 
Uh, who is Hermaeus Mora? If you have to ask that, you'd probably be best leaving his books to wiser heads than uh, yours. I want to know more. Like all Daedric princes, he's not to be trifled with. Of but course. But he is subtler than most of his ilk. Appropriate for the prince of knowledge and faith. Fair enough. Many scholars and law masters have been ensnared, ensnared. by the law of learning the secrets that only Hermaeus Mora possesses. But don't worry. I have no intention of joining them in that endless search through the infinite halls of Apocrypha. All right. Uh, what can you tell me about Morrowind? Red Mountain dominates the island. Every now and then, ash and debris from an eruption land on our shore. Fair enough. That's it? That's all you can tell me about Morrowind? The ignorant think it is only a place of ash and lava. Ah. It has rolling green plains and swamps and verdant hills, too. But you can keep telling me more. Okay, why do we need these cubes? I thought I made myself clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boilers in the Great Hall provide steam to the reading room upstairs, oh, okay. which we need in order to open the book's protective cage. Yep, We Got need it. a total of five cubes, one to operate the pump in the Great Hall, the other four to activate the boilers. All right, all right, all right. Tell me more about Marwin. There is the big island of Ardenfell and the coastal mainland. House Telvani has its properties on Bardenfell. I've never been to the mainland myself. Huh. All right, that's enough for now. Shall we get on with it? We shall. As much as I enjoy this place, I'm ready to see if we can actually open the book's protective case. You do still remember why we're here. I certainly do. Okay, two boilers working. Three boilers working. All four boilers it working. Good. Good. It took longer than I'd hoped, but at least it's finally done. Look out! Another steam centurion. And he's uh <laughs> he was like floating out here. Oh, he's no match for us. Ah, that was nothing. I'm going to head back upstairs and see if they're reading. You do that. I am going. The room has steam. To loot. If so, it should be a simple matter to release the book. Loot, 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 loot. Uh, we're pretty low on our carry weight, though. Kitten heavy gauntlets, sure. We're having a fatigue. Three. All right, we'll take that. We are one point under. <laughs> Thunderbolts! Ah, uh, dang it. All right, here's what we're going to do. We are going to trade out some stuff that we don't need. So let's, uh, the regular battle axe can go. The regular warhammer can go. The orcish battle axe can also go. We'll keep everything else. All right, good stuff. All right, we're going to head back up. So this episode is going to be just a tad longer than normal. But if we can get up to the black book, that I think that'll be a good, uh, Good little stopping point. Let's do a quick save just to make sure we don't lose any progress. Save early, save often, and explore everything. Those are the basic rules of most RPGs. Um. All right, beat you to it, buddy. Haha, <laughs> you'll have to take the elevator next time. All right, all right. Press the button. Press, press the button. Button pressed. Axe out, ready to go. Yes, it worked. At last, I hope it was worth it. Please be my guest. The gardener of men. Besides, it could be very dangerous. These books are known to drive many people insane. Lovely. So you're gonna let me be the test subject. I guess that makes sense, but. Please, go right ahead. Still, I have plenty to occupy me for the moment. Still kind of devious. All right, with that, we are going to wrap up this episode here. Oh, sorry. There we go. We're going to wrap up this episode of Skyrim here on AP Games. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Check out some of uh, this other series on the channel. If you want to support the channel, we've got merch on Teespring, and there's also Patreon if you want to do that. So, thanks again, Please, and we'll see you again. go right ahead. I have plenty to occupy me. You can't be quiet for like 10 more seconds. Anyways, thanks again, and we'll see you again soon here on AP Games.